Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do, <clears throat> sorry about that, I have a little cough. This friendship bracelet, it is called the, um, Peru, <clears throat> sorry guys, it is called the, like, double wave friendship bracelet, Peru, double, Peruvian wave, I think it's what it's called. I got this from Beyond Bracelet, so credit goes to her. Okay, so, oops, let me just get this under my clipboard. Okay, so for this bracelet, you will need seven different strands, one of which will not be seeing the whole bracelet. So I chose white, and the rest are going to be seen. So you're going to set your strands up like this. One that will not be seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. One that will not be seen. Okay? You're going to split your strands and your... Um, your uh, strings in half, so take one side, just like stick it up there and don't even worry about it. So you're gonna take, <clears throat> see where your like strand is, like the string that's not showing you, take the closest strand to it, and you're gonna wanna do, just for this time, okay, and you're gonna wanna do a backward knot on that string. If you guys know how to do the wave friendship bracelet, this will really help, so check out my tutorial on that. So you do a backward knot and put that string inside. You take the next closest strand, which would be an orange, or if, yeah, whatever color you have. Hold on, my strands are in a knot. Hold on, I'm just going to untangle this knot. I'll be right back to show you what my, and I'll be right back to show you what to do next. Sorry about that, guys. It's, you know, knots and stuff. So next closest strand to the to the strand that's not going to be seen, or the base string. I'm going to call it the base string from now on. And you're going <clears> to <throat> do a backward knot. On there. Next closest strand, which should be a yellow. I'm doing rainbow, so yeah. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do a backward knot onto the base strand, like so. And you're gonna take your next closest strand, which should be a green, and you're gonna do a backward knot on your base strand. Oh yeah, and you're going to want to cut your strands about <clears throat> 80 inches, fold it in half, or 70 to 80 inches, depending on how thick your wrist is. Okay, you're going to take your next strand, which would be a blue, and you want to do, oh, whoops, why not? Sorry, that happens a lot when you make these braids. It's like the knot that holds the waves together gets really loose. So next closest strand which should be a blue, and you're going to want to do a backward knot onto the base strand. Okay, now this is going to be a little different. You're going to take your next closest strand, <clears throat> which should be a purple, and you're going to want to do a backward forward knot onto the base strand. For the base strand, you can always use nylon cord or yarn, because that will make it a little bit thicker. Okay. So, now you're going to take the side that you were just doing, and you're going to put it to the side. Take your other side, and you're going to do the same exact thing with forward knots. So, close the strand to the base string, and you're going to want to do, which should be a red, and you're going to want to do a forward knot onto the base strand. Okay. Next, close the strand, which should be an orange, a forward knot onto the base strand. And you guys will get the gist. So just close the strand to the base strand. You're going to do a forward knot. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do that for you guys. Yellow. Forward knot on base strand. Green. A forward knot onto the base strand. And now, blue, forward knot onto base strand. Okay, now the purple, forward backward knot onto the base strand. So forward, half forward, half backward. Hopefully you guys know the basic knots. Okay, now you're going to bring both sides down. Okay. Take two purples in the middle, 
and you're going to join them together with a forward knot. So make so this kind of brings the waves together. So a forward knot. <clears throat> like that. So you look like that right now. So just half not uh just including that you're going to look like that right now. Okay? <clears throat> now we're going to want to do is you're going to want to take half of your side of your strands but the purple from one side, you're going to put on the other side. So two purples and then, you know, the rest. So you're going to put that to the side. So you only have red, orange, yellow, green, blue. You're going to take the closest strand to the base string, which should be a blue. And you're going to want to do, <clears throat> if not, uh, you did something wrong. You're going to want to do a forward knot onto the base strand. You're going to take your next closest strand, which should be a green. And you want to do a forward knot onto the base strand. You're going to take your next closest strand, which should be a yellow, and you're going to want to do <clears throat> a forward knot onto the base strand. So this is kind of like a backwards rainbow. You're going to take your next closest strand, which should be an orange, and you're going to do a forward knot onto the base strand. Okay. And next close your strand, which should be a red, and you're going to do a forward knot onto the base strand. <coughs> okay. So now you're going to just take the side that you were just working with, with the two purples. And now you're going to, no, now you're going to take the two purples from the other side. And you're going to bring that side. Oops, my purples got caught. Up there. So, now you're going to take the other side, which should also be... Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. You're going to take the closest strand, which should be a blue, and you're going to do a backward knot onto your base strand. So, backward knot. Next closest strand, which should be a green, and you're going to want to do a backward knot onto your base strand. So backward onto your base strand with the green. You're going to take your next closest strand, which should be a yellow. In my case, I'm just going to use my colors just because, like, it's kind of hard not to use my colors. Because then I'll get confused and you'll get confused. So, oh, sorry. So next closest strand, which should be a yellow. And you're going to want to do a backward knot onto the base strand. Next close your strand, which should be an orange. And you're going to do a backward knot onto the base strand. Whoops. So backward knot onto the base strand with the orange. Let me just get it through. Okay. It's like a big mess right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, and now you're going to take your next closest strand, which should be a red, and you're going to do a backward knot onto the base strand. <clears throat> and that's it. Just keep repeating that until you get it. This is what mine looks like. It is really cool. Just repeat from the beginning, beginning, to where you started off, where you did all the forward knots onto the base strand. And if you notice that your wave thing like that looks like that, you're just going to have to play around with it and fix it, like the yellow. Going to like tuck it under and just twist it on the orange. You're going to have to like untwist and just fix it. Whatever. I wouldn't worry about it. It looks cool. Just the way it is. And I don't know what's wrong with it. I did it right though, so. Yeah, whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, if this didn't help. Oh, yeah. This is what the back looks like. It's even cool from the back. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, credits to remember goes to be on bracelets. If this didn't help, check out her um, tutorial. So, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.